No funny. I just got a feeling we gonna blow their ass out tomorrow. What's up with y'all, man? That's your favorite DC hero. We ain't doing Marvel over here. You hear me? Yo, man, Birdo, so AKA, it's not Gaz. Andrew's fucking us up, Slim. I ain't even. Nigga, I said AKA, Gaz, not Gaz. You hear me? And today we had to talk about this Thursday night game that we got versus the Denver Broncos. Let's start off with the main things. I ain't even gonna hold you the injuries. Cause the injuries is what's got me just like shook right now. Darius Leonard and Taquan Lewis are already ruled out of the game. Darius Leonard got a concussion, a broken nose, that joint swollen, some more shit. Shorty just fucked up right now. He need all the rest he can get right now. We also got Ryan Kelly, Julian Blackman, DeForest Buckner, and also Jonathan Taylor, who questionable. Now, Jonathan Taylor is most likely going to play knowing them because they said the, uh, he had a high ankle sprain, but... It, was, it wasn't that serious. He died a serious injury. But with that, plus knowing how Jonathan Taylor is and how he, you know, he, uh, most of our team, that's, we, we're going to play him. <laughs> Even if he's just a decoy, we have to play him. Like, but if we don't play him, th that's a total L. The only reason I would say is going to be tough for Jonathan Taylor to play is cause, just because it's a short week. So if it was like, oh, we play Sunday, we play next Sunday, oh, yeah, he playing. But it's only like two to three days to try to be eligible to play. Because don't you got to practice before you play a game or something like that? Like, oh, man. Other key injury to this is the force. Bogner, like, Shardy not even. I don't think he ever been 100% healthy. Even last game that he, we just played against the Titans, it was his second It was his second lowest snap count of his career. So you know if they not playing, bro, like that, you already know something going on with some. But if the injuries play out good, then all we got to do is, I don't know, hopefully JT play. That's all I'm worried about. Hopefully JT play. Oh, and hopefully Buck gonna play. Julian Blackman, he, he, it's not that serious because he got, we got some death at safety that we seen and they been playing lights out. I ain't even gonna hold you. The injuries for the Broncos, not the Broncos though, they got some significant injuries. I ain't gonna hold you. Now, I don't wish injury on no man at all. But I'm, I got a little birdie told me Russell Wilson might be shaking up. He might not play. I don't know. Now, if Russell Wilson don't play, it's up. I don't even know their backup is. Do it matter? No. Is it Drew Locke? No, nah, it's not. I don't know who it is. It's no funny whoever it is. They going to be some shit. I hope it's a rookie. But I got a feeling it's a rookie, nigga. I don't know. But if it ain't Russell Wilson, that's good for us. So with Russell being questionable, you also have Randy Gregory, Melvin Gordon, and Darius Phillips who are also questionable in this game with injuries. Now, those are all key players that can help their team on, on both sides of the ball. But I'll be worried about that. I ain't going to hold you. The only, the only thing that shit that scared you on the list is Russell Wilson. I ain't going to hold you. Phillips can make plays hand there, but... Oh, and you saw what Gordon just did. Gordon did that wild ass fumble slump. I ain't worried about bro. But the players they got now, we just gonna focus on them. Key matchups for this game. The one matchup that really stand out to me, Michael Pittman Jr. versus Patrick Satan the second. On the Broncos, they gonna have a uh, certain shadow Michael Pittman the whole game, like not miss a snap. If Pittman's on the field, you're there. If Pittman's in the backfield, you're watching the backfield. If Pittman's at quarterback, nigga, you're QB spying that motherfucker. Like he gonna be at, on Pittman the whole game, Slum. This where we're gonna see what Pittman really made of Slum. Cause certain, even though it's only his second year. He's top three, not if not top five cornerbacks in the league. Like, shorty, don't like he locked shit down. He's locked down Devontae Adams, many more other receivers. So it's time to see what Michael Pittman really got and see if he can. You hear me? Put up some points against them, but you hear me? Man, dog that nigga. Michael Pittman ain't gonna hold you, dog that nigga, Slim. Let's keep match up. As always, bro, the Coast O line versus the Broncos D line. Our O line's trash. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. None of that. Oh, we got potential to be better. We just gotta work together. We're trash, bro. Put our O line's trash. The only thing that can really help is that the Broncos don't get those many sacks. We got more sacks than the Broncos. So hopefully they pass for us don't really do too much. Hopefully we can sooner than later find a replacement for prior and a, bro, just I hope they start with fries. Don't just put fries in, bro. Don't worry. I ain't I ain't even gonna say slim name. Just put fries in the game. Just put Will Fries in the game, please. That right God, please. Key matchup gonna be the coach. The coach secondary against the Broncos wide receivers. 
Now, as we know, the Broncos do have some good wide receivers. KJ Hamler, Corlin Sutton, and some other weapons at tight end as well. But it's all about how Russell dealing the ball and if the O-line even giving Russell time to throw the ball. Can we get pressure on Russell Wilson? And that's another thing too, our D-line against their O-line. Can we get pressure on, on Russell Wilson? Us getting pressure on Russell Wilson is going to affect our secondary against the against their wide receivers matchup. I like our secondary. I'm mad that they don't play Isaiah Rodgers more because, bro, he had a real big tackle against Derrick Henry last game. Like he just he just make plays. He's a playmaker, bro. They need to play Isaiah Isaiah Rodgers more. And I think I preach this every video. But you would think Russell Wilson with them with them weapons would be scary, but Slim only got 980 passing yards. Shit, Matt Ryan almost got 1200. So, and Matt Ryan playing with motherfuckers that's not even proven. He only playing with one proven receiver and Michael Pittman Jr. Oh, and tight end and uh, Mo Ali Cox. Other than that, he's not playing with no other proven wide receivers or tight ends. Bro, I'm just working with who he working with. So, I got, I don't know, I got faith in Matt Ryan. I ain't going to hold you. I know the stuff, man, the old line just got to give him time. If the old line give him time, bro, he's going to dish and he's going to dash. I ain't going to hold you. He going to be throwing dots out that motherfucker like real life accurate out that jump. The old line just got to get this nigga some time, bruh. Hey, Ryan, don't fumble the ball, please. Like, please. Like, if you about to get sacked, if nobody open in like three seconds, hold on to the ball like this. Like, Slim, just please don't fumble, please. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this game to see if we can really turn it, turn it around. No one else, bro. We're going to blow the Broncos out because we're, we're underdogs. So, since we the underdogs, we're going to blow them niggas out. I don't know why it worked like that, but that's just how it worked, fool. And we on prime time. We, we, we play good on prime time. I ain't even going to hold you. We play good on prime time. Hopefully, we can come out with this dub, though. Because this dub, then the long break into the next game against the Jaguars. It's either the Jaguars or the Titans. I can't even remember. Fuck both of them niggas. I ain't even going to hold you. It's against one of them, but... We got that long break. Everybody can recover. Hopefully, Darius get back. Most likely, he's going to be back. For a week plus, the, the recovery and shit like that, we should have almost everybody back because nobody don't have serious injury on the team right now. If I had to do a score prediction, I'm going to have to say, like, Colts 20, what? Colts 27, Broncos 20. I, I, I get them within the touchdown reach, but I really think we're going to do them dirty, bro. I'm not going to hold you. But, yeah, Mo, that's my pick for – uh, that's my pick and my breakdown of Thursday Night Football and then I risk coach against the Denver Broncos in the comments. Let me know if you think I'm bullshitting. You think I'm just talking crazy. I'm just jumping on my spit. Am I really talking facts of this jump? Let me know in the comments, now. But, yeah, you already know, man. It's your favorite DC hero. We ain't doing Marvel. Are you with me? Yo, man, Bird also, a.k.a. Gas, not gas, and I'm a holler at y'all. Like and subscribe, Slim. So.